What is going on guys? Today we have a huge one with Mid Hullet. And he's just always fantastic, isn't he? He's coming in at 5.7 mil. And honestly, a legend of this game. I think if eventually Icons ever left this game, whatever happened, if for some reason he was just not on, everyone would remember what Hullet was like for at least, what was it, four or five years now, he has just been phenomenal. Him, Vieira, Cruyff, Eusebio, R9, they are the best in the business, and that is why the premium price of 5.7 mil is what it would cost to get this card. 7.8 on the PlayStation, as well as the PC, so a little bit higher in terms of value there, but what you get is phenomenal. We did try his base not that long ago, probably a few more, uh, about a couple of days ago, and he was nice, but we know where the real value is coming in with Hullet. It's always been his mid, his prime, and his moments. They have always been the pinnacle of card in FIFA. Obviously, the mid is the, the best one out at the moment, so we will try him out and see what we can do with him. Kind of test what the difference is. In terms of the stats, let's have a look at it then. So from his base, we've had a plus eight on his pace, his shooting, two on his passing, five on his dribbling, and then we have lost out on three defending and nine physical but I just don't think it matters. He ends up with a five-star weak foot, a four-star skills. The trades are still obviously the same with the power header and solid player. And again, he is just, he's just one of them. I think if anything, his hair's going to bring him just everything anyway. I think that is probably what everybody likes to see in the game. He is a natural, brilliant player in this game. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into him, see what we can get from him, and hopefully... Probably just assume that he's worth 5.7 mil. So we are getting him straight on this ball. He is just an absolute unit. We're going to we're gonna really push him in this review. We're going to see what we can actually get from him. I did like his base in terms of champs because he is still necessarily a fantastic player. Nearly gets pushed over there. But in terms of kind of what this 90 Hullet can bring, I, I just imagine the source is going to be unreal for him. See him just, I've put him straight in the middle because I feel like that is going to be the most balance position for him as obviously he does have and you can see the, the players just going off him knowing that you just don't particularly want to be pushed off him oh my left foot and Hullet's already got it doesn't even break a sweat for six minutes and he's already got himself his first goal first of many for Hullet what can we find in the next what 84 minutes it's gonna be crazy to see what he can produce like I say the middle is going to be the best sort of position for him just because we know that he can obviously pass run move shoot he can do pretty much everything and another thing with these sorts of icons that are kind of like the the top tier as such they almost draw players to them so or draw away from them as well kind of defending their motion so you could be running through say with someone like a KDB and if you've got a Hullet kind of running off, you will find the opponent sometimes just kind of marking Hullet rather than the space, bringing your other players forward, and it's just a tactical game as well. Hullet even marking the space, and again, another kind of bonus for that middle kind of position is the fact that he is in the center of everything in terms of shots, as obviously going forward is still as good as what he is, but also defending is, again, just incredible as well. You just know that he's going to be able to move his body. For somebody who's, what, 6'3", six, six he moves like he's 5'9", honestly. And I think that is personally what makes him fantastic in this game. It's just overall animations has just been blessed. As we find him through here, it's a Richarlson, but Van der Sar is going to make the save and keep it in there. Very, very nice defending from this guy here. And that's all it took, 22 minutes. Hullet part two. Let's see what we can do. And he just naturally just gets the ball back as well. That is fantastic. Powers through. Oh, little roulette. Stops. Goes for the shot. Mendy. Nice. <laughs> He's not going to take anything lightly there. Oh, look at him. Did go one down to a very, very poor lapse of judgment from my defending. But Hullet trying to push ourselves forward. You could probably even argue to whack him as a striker, to be fair. I feel like centre mid is always going to be that better position. How on earth he's managed to just walk through us there. But I think, yeah, you, you could play him anywhere in the midfield. And I still think he would be as good. But I think centre mid, for me, would be the, the ultimate position to really put him in. He is a nice striker, but centre mid-wise just works so well with his attributes in this game, especially. Oh, imagine. 
I think I think literally everything speaks for itself there. You don't even need to be half winning the game for him to do something. Oh, oh long range as well, going for it. Want to find him in this middle if the keeper don't come out, but we've really gone for Richarlison there. Hull with the header. Oh, out beats him there. Doesn't get it to anybody. But again, it's always nice to know that he is six foot three and pretty much heads most things. Be nice to get someone to run off him as well. I really want to see what that long pass is all about. We've kind of got that big through uh, kind of just powerhouse through ball. But I want to see the long pass and I want to see how he good how good he is at assisting the players also as, as kind of like making it. So going into the overall for my man Hullet then. So he's, like I say, coming in at what, 5.7, 7.8, 7.8. In terms of kind of like throughout the years, he's always been just impossible to not want to play with and he's one of the pro how many players do you reckon are above five mil so oh okay oh okay no they were extinct at prime so we've got our nine we've got pele and we've got hullet i think that kind of tells you the caliber of player you player you're getting obviously anybody probably above two mil at this point in the game is going to be fantastic even probably a mil you're looking at a very very top tier card but to be almost what the, the second highest coin card in the game you kind of know and you get a feel of of kind of the level of a card this is in terms of chemistry style shadow's probably going to be your best option very much like his base you are wanting that pace you are wanting that defending and you just look at how well-rounded this card really looks i think the only card that i'm thinking at the moment that could be as good stat-wise would be somebody like a team of the season or team of the year Goretzka. That would be, a because how well-rounded he is, that would be a phenomenal card. And again, you look at the stats, everything's just incredible in every position. He's a four-star, five-star. He's got the high medium. He is just built to play incredible. We saw the overhead. We saw a goal, passing, assisting, running. He just naturally is a very gifted player on this game. Same as Vieira, same as Cruyff, Pele, R9. We've seen them year in, year out. And to be honest, even if the gameplay changes a bit, because I think if it massively dramatically changed and, and small players were OP in every position, yes, we would see a massive dip in his price. Because naturally, if they had an unfair advantage, we would see a difference in six foot four, six foot five players actually doing well. With Hullet, I think because there's only so many tweaks, he will always be fantastic in this game. He's well balanced. He's equipped for everything. You need a, a kind of fast player who's tall. He's your man. If you need somebody who's tall and can pass, he's your man. He's just naturally good at everything. And it's the same for quite a lot of these icons. They naturally have a very good base that covers a lot of good metas. And that is just naturally what he is. I think you would be completely wrong to say anything other than a 10 out of 10 i think if people are paying 5.7 mil it would be a little bit of a laughing stock if he was not a 10 out of 10 player he just naturally is gifted so we are going to leave it there hopefully you did enjoy we will try and get as many more out as possible so like and subscribe on this one we are chasing that 10k and if you're watching this after we've hit 10k then brilliant where, where are we going next 100k for the plaque i'll see you for the next one peace